The Boy and the Toy, written by Sonia Hartnett and illustrated by Lucia Marcielo. One day, a man invented the best toy in the world. This toy can keep you company while I'm away, the inventor told his son. If you need me to come home, send a letter with the seagull. The boy discovered that the toy was clever. Walk! he said, and it walked. Jump, he said, and it jumped. It could dance and somersault. It could run around the room. The boy and the toy played hide and seek. They slid down the banister. They swam underwater and dug up pirates' treasure. You're the smartest toy in the world, the boy told the toy. The boy and his toy played together every day. The toy was very happy and the boy was never lonely. At night time, the toy slept in the boy's room. But because it was made of cold and awkward metal, the toy slept on the floor. One day it was raining, so the boy and the toy couldn't play outside. Let's do a puzzle, said the boy. He showed the toy a puzzle he'd made out of tin and twists of paper. It was a tricky puzzle, and the boy was proud of it. The toy put the puzzle together in a flash. The toy turned pink and purple, but the boy was disappointed. He spent the whole afternoon making the puzzle even more difficult. The toy did not sleep that night. The next day it was still raining. Let's read a book, said the boy. The toy got comfortable. While the boy read the story aloud, it was a good story, full of sword fights, yet the toy began to fidget. It pulled faces and stood on its head and behaved like a crocodile. But the book was so interesting and the boy told the toy, I'll play with you later. The next morning, the book was skinny. Now I don't know what happened in the end, the boy cried. No puzzle and no book, and it was still raining. The boy felt a little wistful. He looked out the window and wondered if it was raining wherever his father was too. To pass the time, the boy took his other toys out of their basket. He had a lot of toys that he loved from when he was little. But the toy didn't know how to play with other toys. Oh no, said the boy. Not like that. Maybe you should just watch. The toy was busy that night too. When the boy woke up, he was surprised. The toy was jumping up and down, sparkling like a star. But the boy felt worried. There was something strange about the best toy in the world. The boy wanted to write a letter that the seagull could carry away to his father. He wasn't sure the toy would like that. However, it didn't seem to like anything except the boy and itself. 
The boy needed a plan. He thought and thought, and finally he thought of something wily. That night, while the toys slept peacefully, the boy was in the workshop, tying strings and bundling straws. The next day, the toy was pleased that the boy didn't want to do anything except pat the toy's head and scratch under its chin. Sighing with happiness, the toy closed its eyes. It didn't see the boy run down the stairs and write a swift letter. It didn't see the seagull carry the letter into the clouds. It didn't see the boat that eventually sailed over the horizon. It didn't see the boy leap into his father's arms. I got your letter, said the inventor. Let's take a look at this toy. Inside the toy were hundreds of cogs and springs. But the inventor said, oh dear, I forgot to put in something important. Yet there wasn't any space in the toy to add what was missing. The inventor sighed. This toy can't ever be a good friend to you. The boy felt strangely sorry for the toy. But his father said, don't be sad. You need a real friend. One who isn't made of metal. I met someone like that on my travels. He's waiting outside to meet you. The boy ran to the door and flung it open. And there it was, the real friend waiting for him. Press the button below to subscribe, like and share. I hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time.